Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Steven de Groot, a Dutch artist, but you can call me Steve. In this video, I'm going to do a review and an unboxing of the Apple Pencil 2. I just bought it and I also had it engraved. So let's go to the unboxing. The same as with the new iPad, it's easier to open it with a lid to take the plastic wrapping off. When you open the box, the Apple Pencil is covered with a sleeve, which holds a small description of the product. The things that are missing with this Apple Pencil is the lightning connector and an extra nib. The lightning connector is missing because you don't need it anymore. But why Apple didn't include an extra nib is a mystery. The Apple Pencil costs more so they could have easily include an extra nib. Now you have to buy a new one if you need it. I never had to replace the nib of the old Apple Pencil, but it's nice to have an extra nib just in case. Design. The new Apple Pencil looks a little bit different. I had this one inscribed with my name. This is now possible because the Apple Pencil 2 has a bevel. This is to charge and pair it with your iPad Pro. When you order your Apple Pencil 2 online, you can add a description to your pencil. When you have ordered it, tap on the button inscribe and then you can add your name. It takes up to three weeks before your Apple Pencil arrives. The Apple Pencil 2 only works with the iPad Pro 2018 and not the former models. On top of the iPad Pro is a special magnet where you can stick your Apple Pencil to. When you want to connect your Apple Pencil 2 to your iPad Pro, just stick it on top of your iPad. Then you get a pop-up menu. Tap on Tap to connect and your Apple Pencil 2 is connected to your iPad Pro. I hope this will eliminate the pairing issues the former Apple Pencil had. I've made a video about it and a lot of viewers had the same problem. If you want to see that video, press on the i. We'll also leave a link in the description box down below. The Apple Pencil 2 is shorter than the original Apple Pencil. This is because this one doesn't have a cap. It's rounded off. If you look closer, you can see that the back is made out of another material. Over time, this will discolor a little bit. When you have paired your Apple Pencil 2, you can start using it. I only use it to draw and paint with. The Apple Pencil has a new feature, double tap. You only have four options. You can adjust them in the settings of your iPad. Scroll down and tap on Apple Pencil. On the right you see the options. Switch between current tool and eraser. Switch between current tool and last used. Show color palette. And off. These settings also work in Procreate, but they're originally made for the Notes app. I hope developers will be able to assign other options to the double tap feature. Undo would be a great add-on. Apple Pencil 2 Drawing So how does the new Apple Pencil 2 feel when you draw and paint with it? I tried it out for one week in my favorite drawing app, Procreate. The texture of the pencil feels different. It has more structure and with the flat bezel you have more grip. But the pressure sensitivity and the tilt function work the same as the first Apple Pencil. Nothing has changed. But the pressure sensitivity and the tilt function already work great on the first Apple Pencil. When you start drawing with a new Apple Pencil, it always feels a bit bumpy. Especially if you want to use the tilt function. The longer you draw with the Apple Pencil, it will wear down a little, creating a smoother drawing experience. If you already have an old Apple Pencil, you can change the nibs. Or just open a canvas and wear your nib down with a lot of cross hatching. Use all of the sides of your nib. Pros and cons. Pros. Wireless charging and pairing. Double tap feature. Magnet on top of your iPad. Cons. Only works on a new iPad Pro 2018. No extra nibs. Limited functions for double tap and no change in the feel when you draw. 
The Apple Pencil is a nice upgrade, but it's not groundbreaking. It's nice that you don't have to charge through the lightning connector and that you can charge it on top of your iPad Pro. As an artist I expected a little bit more with this updated version. When you compare it to the original Apple Pencil, there's no difference when you draw and paint with it. I would have loved to have different nibs to draw with. Maybe a softer one that would reduce the plastic feel of drawing on a hard surface. Fortunately, you can use the old nibs of the original Apple Pencil. The nibs are the same. If you already have an iPad Pro and Apple Pencil and expect a total different drawing experience, then you'll be disappointed. If your old Apple Pencil and iPad Pro still works, then don't upgrade to this one. If you're considering buying your first Apple Pencil, then the Apple Pencil 2 is a great buy. It is still the most pressure sensitive stylus for your iPad Pro. But beware that you buy the iPad Pro 3rd generation from 2018, because the Apple Pencil is not compatible with older iPad Pros. I hope you enjoyed this video and I've also made a video about the new iPad Pro that works together with the new Apple Pencil 2. I'll leave a link in the description box down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell because when you press on that notification bell you get a notification each time I upload a new video. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles!